welcome to our latest video on the history of military aviation. In this episode, we will be discussing the development of the fleet air defense aircraft by the U.S. Navy in the late 1950s. The Navy was in need of a powerful interceptor to defend its carrier battle groups against long-range threats from the Soviet Union, including jet bombers and submarines launching anti-ship missiles. To address this need, they designed the fleet air defense aircraft with advanced radar capabilities and long-range missiles, capable of intercepting both enemy bombers and missiles at a great distance. Grumman F-14 Tomcat In today's video, we will be discussing the iconic Grumman F-14 Tomcat, a supersonic fighter aircraft used by the United States Navy. The Tomcat was designed to be a carrier-capable aircraft with two engines, a two-seat cockpit, and a variable sweep wing. It was developed as part of the Naval Fighter Experimental Program, following the cancellation of the F-111B project. Design and Improvements The Grumman F-14 Tomcat was a highly advanced and versatile fighter aircraft that saw significant improvements and upgrades over its lifespan. It made its first flight in December 1970 and was deployed with the U.S. Navy in 1974, replacing the F-4 Phantom II. One of the main improvements made to the F-14 was the switch to full solid-state electronics, which enhanced its electronic counter-countermeasures capabilities and provided more space for the rocket motor. The F-14's missile armament was also upgraded throughout its production. For example, the AIM-54 Phoenix Active Radar Air-to-Air -air missile was upgraded to the B and C versions, and the AIM-7 Sparrow Semi-Active Radar Homing missile was upgraded to the F and M versions. The heat-seeking missile armament was also improved, with the AIM-9L and AIM-9M versions being introduced in the 1980s. In addition to its role as a maritime air superiority fighter and fleet defense interceptor, the F-14 also served as a tactical aerial reconnaissance platform and was equipped with the low-altitude navigation and targeting infrared for night pod system in the 1990s. It was even capable of performing precision ground attack missions, having been cleared to use basic iron bombs in 1992. During Operation Desert Storm, the F-14 primarily focused on air defense operations while other aircraft carried out air-to-ground missions. Engines The Grumman F-14 Tomcat was powered by two Pratt & Whitney TF-30P412A augmented turbofan engines, which provided it with impressive speed and performance. Each engine was capable of generating 20,900 pounds of static thrust, allowing the F-14 to reach a maximum speed of Mach 2.34. While the aircraft was capable of reaching high speeds, it also had the ability to fly at a cruising speed for extended periods of time, which was important for conducting lengthy patrol missions. To optimize the airflow to the engines at different speeds, the F-14's rectangular air inlets were equipped with movable ramps and bleed doors. These features helped to meet the varying airflow requirements of the engine. Armament The Grumman F-14 Tomcat was designed to be a formidable and versatile fighter aircraft, capable of engaging a wide range of threats. One of its primary roles was to defend against highly maneuverable enemy aircraft, as well as Soviet anti-ship cruise missiles and bombers such as the Tupolev Tu-16 and Tu-22. The F-14 was specifically designed to carry the AIM-54 Phoenix missile, but it was also equipped to engage medium and short-range threats with other weapons. In addition to being a long-range interceptor, the F-14 was also an air superiority fighter 
capable of taking on a variety of missions. It had multiple hardpoints on its fuselage and wings that could carry a total of over 6,700 kilograms of stores for combat missions. Typically, this meant that the F-14 could carry a maximum of four Phoenix or Sparrow missiles on its belly stations, two Phoenixes or Sparrows on its wing hardpoints, and two Sidewinders on its wing glove hardpoints. The F-14 was also equipped with an internal 20mm M61 Vulcan rotary cannon, adding to its formidable armament. Operational History the Grumman F-14 Tomcat has a rich operational history, filled with many interesting facts and milestones. One of the most notable aspects of the F-14's operational history is its use in the Gulf War, where it played a crucial role in defending against Iraqi aircraft and missiles. The F-14's ability to engage multiple targets simultaneously with its advanced radar and missile systems proved to be a valuable asset in this conflict. Another significant moment in the F-14's history was its role in the 1980s as a key component of the U.S. Navy's fleet defense capabilities. The F-14's long-range radar and missile systems were essential in defending against the threat of Soviet bombers and cruise missiles. Exported to Iran in 1976 under the Pahlavi dynasty, the F-14 was used as a land-based interceptor by the Islamic Republic of Iran Air Force during the war. Iran claims that its F-14s shot down at least 160 Iraqi aircraft during the conflict, with 55 of these being confirmed by historian Tom Cooper. Unfortunately, the F-14 also suffered some losses during this time, with a total of 16 Tomcats being lost, including 7 due to accidents. As of 2022, the F-14 remains in service with Iran's Air Force, though in low numbers due to a lack of spare parts. Despite these challenges, the F-14 has proven to be a valuable asset for Iran's military and has played a significant role in its history. The F-14 also made headlines in the 1970s and 1980s for its appearances in popular media, such as the film Top Gun and the TV series Ba Ba Black Sheep. Overall, the F-14 Tomcat has a storied past that has left a lasting impact on military aviation and popular culture. End of active service The Grumman F-14 Tomcat was an important and influential fighter aircraft that served the United States Navy for over three decades. However, all good things must come to an end and in 2006 the Tomcat was retired by the Navy, replaced by the Boeing F-18 Super Hornet. Despite its retirement, the F-14 has left a lasting legacy in military aviation and has remained a popular and iconic aircraft. To honor its service, several retired F-14s have been put on display at various locations across the United States, where they serve as a tribute to the aircraft's history and importance. While the F-14 is no longer in active service, it will always be remembered for its impressive capabilities and contributions to the U.S. Navy's defense efforts. If you enjoy these types of videos, please like and subscribe to our channel. It will help YouTube algorithm to serve more viewers like you. Thank you.